this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with some um, stamps and I thought what we could do is make some stamped onto fabric little paper clips, um, which I thought would be rather fun. So I've brought along a few different stamp sets. Now all of these stamps I do have on my website on my Shabby Dabby Doo Doll dot co dot UK website. Um, so if you wanted to have a look, do go and check them out. Um, but I've brought along this one with the like large postcard and then it's got lots of little smaller items. So I'm going to be using for this particular project, I'm going to be using the smaller items. Probably actually just these two. They're my favourites. Um, maybe this one because I quite like that. Actually, this one's also quite nice. Oh, <laughs> what was I saying? I may end up using quite a few, quite a few of these. Um, I've also got these little elements, which are the crests and things like that, which I've used these before, um, particularly in my Build Your Own Folio um, series that we did. Um, so, yeah, I may use some of these. I'm thinking this one, maybe the lion or something. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe the lion or maybe this lion. We'll, we'll have a look. And then I've also got these little kind of tiny things um, stamped. So I'm thinking probably the hot air balloon. That's my favourite. Maybe the pocket watch. Um, maybe the car. Yeah, probably those. So, yeah. Okay. Right. So what are you going to need if you want to make anything like this? So you're going to need some stamps, preferably kind of smaller type things. Um, now I'm going to be using, yep, yeah, I'm going to be using a stamp block, which I don't often use. Um, and I'm going to be using stays on. Now I use stays on all the time and I know it's not everybody's favorite. I do really like stays on, you know, regardless of whether I'm stamping on fabric or paper, but stays on is particularly good for stamping on fabric. So if you're going to be stamping on fabric, then you are going to need a, um, you know solvent based ink pad rather than a kind of water based one because you're going to want it to kind of hold on and you know be strong and rich in you know in color um so i'm going to be using that i've got scissors obviously here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to back my stamped pieces so i'm going to stamp them onto the fabric and then i'm going to back those onto some other fabric now when i've made this type of thing before i've generally backed them onto hessian I can't seem to find my hessian at the moment. My rim is such a mess. So I can't seem to find my hessian anywhere. So I'm probably going to back them onto um, this, which I think is like cheesecloth. I received this in a happy mail. So I'm probably going to back them onto this because I think it's going to be a similar type of effect. Um, then I'm going to yeah layer them up to make the paper clips so let's kind of get on and see how we get on and then um you know go from there so let's get stamping okay right so let's move this cheesecloth out i nearly called it cheesecake <laughs> cheesecake would be nice wouldn't it um right so let's get a few of these stamps so yeah i quite like this one here actually so let's do a couple in this as well so right I'm going to put it on my stamp block it's a reasonably clean stamp block so I can actually kind of see through it which that's not always the case in my way uh my situation um right now I've got some fabrics here now I like to have a little bit of color and a little bit of kind of neutral if you see what I mean so like this here this is some vintage fabric this is not vintage um so I've got a mix of vintage and not vintage but what I'm going to do is try and kind of like capture a little bit of colour and a little bit of not colour, if that makes sense. So if I just bring this up to the camera, because this one's not so bright colour. Can you see there, I've got just a little touch of that lilac in the background, which I think just adds to it and looks quite pretty. So I'll just stamp some more, just going over the, you know, some of the other colours. It just gives it a bit more of an interesting look, I think. Oops if you've got different colours showing. So, there we go. Let's have it there. I'm just going to move this and stamp on some of the other fabric actually. Otherwise I will end up, I've only stamped these. It's a little bit addictive. You can kind of easily just go around and before you know it, you've just stamped, you know, all of the same item. I find. So, yeah, I just need to be mindful that I don't just end up with only these. 
stamped because I do want to have a variety of things. Now, I've also got this one. I don't know whether this is going to particularly show up on this because obviously it's a much busier fabric. So we'll just try one and we'll see. And also I might not like it because it's got the stripes, but we'll see. Oh, that is showing up quite well. So yeah, I quite like that. Now you can always coffee dye your fabrics. So, you know, if you don't like how they look, you could always coffee dye them and that can then, you know, give a different look as well. So I've got some of this, I've used this loads of times. It was that vintage fabric that my mum gave me. And then I'll just do one on two here as well. Like I say, I mean, they're slightly addictive to do and it's so easy to just go around, you know, stamping all of them. So oops, let's just pop that back onto there. I'm just going to do a couple with the butterfly here. Now, I might not bother doing this one. I said I was going to do this, the cameo one. That's my, my favourite problem, this whole stamp set. But because it's quite filled in, you're not going to actually see a great deal of the, you know, the back fabric, if you see what I mean, because it's predominantly, you know, black stamped, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I might not even bother with that one, but I'll just stamp some of this. I mean, how gorgeous is that? I love it. Absolutely love it. So to be honest, I said I liked that cameo one best, but to be honest, I actually think it's a bit of a close call between the cameo and the this one with the butterfly. So let's do here. Oh, I wish I'd done that sideways on actually, because it's a bit weird how I've now stamped that. Uh, let's do here. So you see, and then you can just, you know, move your fabric around and make sure you get lots of different marks, if you see what I mean. I mean, that's my favourite out of those butterfly ones. So I just see if I can get any more a bit like that. So, you know, might be a case of turn your fabric slightly around here like that. Okay. Oh, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Okay, and can I do any on here? No, not yet. So we'll just quickly stamp a bit on here. Oops. I mean, the only thing is when it's got stripes, you have to obviously be a bit careful that you're stamping sort of straight because it would be very easy to get this completely wonky and then it look really, really rubbish. But... Yeah, I mean, doesn't that look gorgeous? Love how that looks. Right, did I stamp any of the butterfly on here? No, I didn't. See what I mean? It's, um, you know, my, my piece of fabric's almost full already of just those flowers that I did before. Okay. I'm right, just going down there. Right, okay, let's do a couple of others. Just pop that one on there. What's quite nice about these is they are, you know, they are square. So it's quite nice. I might do this one, the approved arrival. Or uh, arrival imp improved? No, approved. Okie dokie. Yeah, I mean, they look lovely, don't they? So let's just put that to one side. Just drag this back in. Okay, and down there. Okie dokie, I'll just do one or two on here. So again, just want to, you know, maybe move my fabric around so as I get it, you know, in a good, a good spot. And like I say, I mean, I might even find that this one looks best or, you know, all of them look best if they're coffee dyed. So I could always coffee dye them, you know, at the end, if you see what I mean. And again, that's the beauty of using like a stays on ink or something because it is obviously waterproof, um, you know, so you could always coffee dye afterwards. It's not going to smudge your 
your ink or anything. Right, so we've got a few of those. So move that to one side. Okay. <clears throat> right, let's do let's do this one. I think I really liked this one when I used these before. I'm sure Paul using it quite a lot. So let's move that to one side. Right, should we do a couple of these on oops, on this fabric here? Like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? Uh, um, yep, yeah, like that. And then should we do one onto the this fabric? Oh, maybe here. Okay, right. Let's just pop that one back. So a little bit boring because obviously we're just we're just stamping at this point, which is probably not the most interesting thing to be watching. Right, let's do some of my hot air balloon ones because I love, love, love the hot air balloon. So yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to work out how I can get the most from here. So let's put the hot air balloon here. Can I get another one in? That's the question. Mm, I don't know. Might have to come back to that one. Uh, right, let's do one here. Okay, bring this fabric back in here. Uh, there. Oh, it looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? I just really, really love it when you get the, um, you know, the different colours kind of just in the, like in the background or, you know, like in the corner or something. I just think that looks really good. It makes it, you know, much more interesting, doesn't it, than if it were just on, you know, plain fabric. I think it really makes it look pretty. Um, hmm. Now, I don't know whether it's going to actually show up sufficiently on this pink, but we'll just try it here. Oh, it is. So in that case, we can do something on the red, but I'm going to save that, I think. And we'll do something else. So put the hot air balloon back. Let's do that pocket watch, because I'm sure that would look gorgeous. I don't think I've used the pocket watch before. Right. Let's be brave and put it onto the red. Oh, I bet I've done that. Yep, look at what I've done. I've put it right by that hot air balloon. So, what an idiot. I didn't really think of that or think that through properly. Just randomly stamped it. Right, okay. And, right, let's try not to make that same mistake. I'll do this one here. And hopefully, you know, I've got enough space now to cut them both round. Uh, do that one there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do a couple of pocket watches on this one. I mean, I'm not even actually stamping this, um, you know, anywhere that's kind of plainer fabric. I'm only really stamping where there are some colours. So it's got, you know, the interest going on. Uh, what did I do with that blue? There we go. Just do that one there. Oh, it's lovely on this one, isn't it? And, you know, I mean, to be honest, if you didn't want to coffee dye your fabric, you could always use, um, you know, just, just Distress Ink. That would be just as good, to be honest. Right, just wondering, shall I do some with the car? Because I really love that vintage car, to be honest. So... Obviously, these are going to be a little bit bigger with the car, but. <clears throat> Oops. I don't think that matters. Right, that one. Oops, the car's just hanging off the block a bit. There we go. Okay couple there and let's just do one on here maybe there okay 
and then just do right now can i even fit it anywhere here or have i kind of pretty much done everything with with color mm, certainly running out so i have um you know space where there's i don't know how it's going to look on here because there's quite a bit of darker you know yeah you can't really see it that well on there so that was a bit of a shame but let's try that on there not too bad and then i don't think i can fit this on here no right okay okay so we should just call it quits there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out my pieces now again you could cut these out with your pink and shears or you could just cut them out with your regular scissors i'm going to just use my regular scissors because yes i actually can't find my pink and shears at the moment so not ideal so you know but hopefully this is really going to show that you, know, you don't even need kind of pink and shears or anything this project is going to be fine for everybody So just cut out your shapes. Now, that one, obviously, you know, it's got um, no border around it. So just, you know, cut it sort of as you like. So this one where I've gone in too close, I'm going to cut out the pocket watch because I feel that actually that's come out better than the hot air balloon, which that's over the very dark bit of fabric and you can't necessarily see it that brilliantly so just take that like that okay they're just so cute aren't they and then these now these would be better with the um pinking shears but like i say i'm not going to stress too much i'm just going to go on with my straight scissors like that okie dokie So, I mean, you know, some of the edges have even got closer than the others. Just, you know, don't get too bogged down, really, with how it looks at all. And then let's do the butterfly from here. Can we just take that like that? So, I mean, this is the type of thing that you could do, obviously, you know, during the day, kind of stamp your images, and then at night you could just... You know whilst you're watching tv go and then cut out all of your pieces okay <clears throat> right. the other thing that i would just mention is it's quite worth having quite a juicy ink pad so i know i already mentioned you know use a um you know one of the solvent based pads but you know the newer the better probably so if it's a little bit on the dry side you know as they sort of get once they get older it's not going to necessarily give you such good results you know you might not be quite as pleased as if it were you know nice and strong and juicy so that's just another thing to kind of bear in mind really is try and use some of your juicier ink pads juicier slash you know if you've got sort of newer ones use the newer ones okay right i'm just going to now just cut out a couple of others because it's pretty boring i realize for you guys just watching me cut these <laughs> cut these out now this one this is really handy because these were you know those vintage ones that my mum had given me where she was she obviously thought she'd try quilting she never made a quilt um, but she obviously got as far as stitching some of these onto the pattern paper. Um, but what's quite handy is obviously the paper makes them really lovely to cut out. So, yeah, these are really lovely. You know, they cut very easily once they're on the, or whilst they're on the paper. You know, the fabric's not moving or anything like that. So, yeah, they're very nice to use. Loving that one. Right. Let's just cut out a couple of these. <clears throat> okay, okay. Oops, 
Okay. And yep. Like that. Now oops. Okay, so I mean if if you tear some and things, I mean actually that makes them even nicer because then you've got that sort of more vintagey you know effect which i just think is actually even nicer still isn't it you know when they've got the slightly uh not frazzled edges but you know um frayed frayed edges is what i was trying to think of yeah for some reason i couldn't think of the word right so i mean obviously it's not that easy to do when they're very tiny pieces so it's a little bit easier once, you know, when they're bigger. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's my phone now. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. My phone, honestly, it never rings. And then just, you know, I'm doing a video and straight away it's ringing. Right now, what other ones have I got? So I've got the car here. Let's just do another one there. Just so we've got some different colours and things and, you know, some slightly different appearances when we've made them. So just tear this. I mean, I think those, um, you know, frayed edges are quite nice, aren't they? They're a bit more interesting, but, you know, obviously it's not everybody's cup of tea, I realise. So I just need to be sort of a bit careful when doing things like this because I'm quite clumsy and I'm likely to just tear straight into the, you know, the next image. So, yeah, I'm... I just have to be a bit mindful of my clumsy kind of ways. So, right, there we go. So, the lion's rather nice, isn't it? And then the pocket watch, we'll just tear that down perhaps slightly more because it's perhaps a little bit too big. Oops, oh dear. See, won't really tear now because I haven't got enough, you know, leverage there. I'll just, just cut around that. But I actually think they do look better when they're quite frayed to be honest. I mean, they'd probably look better still if they were actually pink and sheared, so must try and find where those pink and shears have gone. No idea, to be honest, where they've gone. Um, and then should we just have one of these little daisies? Well, let's have the yellowish daisy from here. It's a shame because this one didn't stamp so clearly, but she's got a bit missing at the top. I suspect I didn't, didn't dip it in the ink at the top okay and we'll just do a purple daisy as well i think just need to be a bit careful there because i've stamped those very close together okay right oops like that Oh, just one more. Honestly, they're sort of addictive to even cut them out. <laughs> just like I was addicted to stamping them in the first place. I'm now addicted to actually cutting them out. So I will stop in a moment. Right, okay. Get this one. Okay. Just take that one down like that. Okie dokie. Right. So then what I want to do is put them onto the cheesecloth. Now, I did also bring along this pink fabric. I wasn't sure whether to mount them onto this or whether to um, stamp onto this. So I'm not sure whether I will use that or not. But let's try with the cheesecloth first. So now, again, I've been holding this. So, yeah, first time of using it. Let's just take some and cut it down. Okay. Like I say, I mean, in the past, I have generally kind of liked to use um, hessian when making things like this, but I just couldn't find where my hessian was. So I thought cheesecloth would be a good alternative. Failing that, the other thing that I thought would be quite nice is just... Um, you know some lace so i mean like here i've got this um crochet type lace this would also be quite a good alternative i think so 
maybe I'll do one on here so like that so I'm going to glue this down oops oh she says just using my tacky glue you could use whatever glue you like you could use the um fabri tac if you've got that that would be brilliant i just happen to have my tacky glue to hand so the only thing that i will say is that's a little bit bumpy because the lace is quite textured but aside from that i think it's it's pretty good so now i'm going to i think stitch these on the sewing machine but i thought glue them on because that's going to hold them in place because otherwise it's going to be pretty fiddly to be cutting them when they're moving around so I thought this was you know a better method really now obviously these ones these are slightly bigger so they're going to be slightly easier to work with okay <clears throat> love these ones with the red aren't they gorgeous nothing nicer than a dash of colour or a splash splash of colour dash, dash of colour anyway bit of colour um, it just looks lovely doesn't it now is that is that an edge or is that folded over I think it's actually an edge um, yeah I won't go too near there I'll put this one up there Okay. So, like that. Now this is going to be fiddly sewing, that's all I can say, because this is lots of tiny little pieces, isn't it? But I think it's going to be fine. So for this one, I might actually ink this up a little bit because um, I think this will look nicer you know inked up like i say you could always coffee dye this to be honest it would coffee dye really nicely too but just for speed i'm going to just ink it instead okay so yeah i mean i think that looks a lot nicer now it's been coffee dyed if i just show you compared to the original okay i mean it does make quite a big difference doesn't it so it's just Go around that with some glue. Okay. Oops. Put that one down there. Okay. And then, yeah, should we do this one on the um, on some lace again? So let's just take this and just ink it up. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Because again, I just feel like it will look, you know, much more vintage being inked than it was being, you know, white. So love how that looks. And then actually let's do, let's do one of these as well. Or maybe a couple of these. So yeah, just like that. Oh, don't they look gorgeous, Oops, gorgeous. Okay. Like that. Let's just do this one now. I'm at it. I'm I'm now just inking all of them. Oh dear. Honestly, every stage of this is kind of addictive, obviously, isn't it? Because every time I've done anything, I've then not known when to stop and I've just continued on. So I'm just going to actually ink this whole bit of fabric whilst I'm you know, whilst I've got the ink out so okay 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 nearly done nearly done nearly done right there we go isn't that gorgeous and actually whilst i'm at it yeah see completely addicted to all of these stages so yeah, let's just quickly ink this. And now I'm even wondering whether I should ink this. I don't know what the pink is going to look like being inked up, but 
Well, it's not really making much difference if I'm truthful because the pink's too dark for it to be showing up. Let's just quickly ink this. The lion. Oh, that looks quite good. Inked up. Yeah, that does look good. Oh, let's just do that then as well with the car. Okay. Right. Let me just see what other um, sort of crochet lace I've got. Now, obviously, it needs to be sort of, you know, a wideish one. Um, which, of course, now I'm looking, I can't see any. I have got this, but this is obviously white, but. Mm. probably only suitable for the smaller pieces right okay so let's cut some of this down okay and then just put that away so what i'm going to do i don't want to have it white i'd like to have it you know inked up really so i'm just going to ink this up which is the right way and the wrong way Always hard to see. Right, let's just quickly ink this up. I mean, again, you know, you can always coffee dye the lace and it does look great. I mean, most things look good and coffee dye well. I haven't really come across that many things that, you know, I've coffee dyed and thought, oh gosh, wish I hadn't done that. It looks awful now. I think most things come out pretty good, so... Okie dokie. Oops. that one. <clears throat> and let's do the hot air balloon. I'm trying to think how this is going to go when I cut it. I do like to sort of cut tear crochet really, but I don't know whether this is going to, you know, quite do it, but... like that okay and then uh -huh. should I do this blue car <clears throat> so I'll just take that down a bit and on the bottom yeah Okay. Right. So, I mean, that looks really nice, doesn't it? I love that. Um, okay. Should we do a little bit on that pink or not? Well, I'll just do a little bit more here because I've got this, you know, left to use. So, perhaps we'll do the, yeah, perhaps we'll do the lion. Oops, I want to move it down a bit because I don't want to be squished up when I'm trying to cut it is the problem. Okay, right, let me just cut this a little bit smaller so that when I take it to the sewing machine, it's not going to be quite so, you know, cumbersome threading it through to the, in the machine. Um, oh, now I'm thinking I'm just going to ink this one up, actually. I liked the inking so much. But to be honest, yeah, I think they all they all need inking up, even this one, which was quite white. But yeah, I prefer it. Prefer all of them inked up. Right, so I'm going to take them to the sewing machine and then I will come back. So I will be back in a moment. Right, I'm back from the sewing machine. So as you can see, I've just stitched around the edges which has formed a kind of frame around the ones that didn't have a frame. So these ones that were postage stamp designs, they almost had like a frame anyway, but these ones obviously were just not naked, but you know, they didn't have a frame. So now they do have a frame just formed by the stitching, which I think is really, really nice. So just cut them out. Now, when I cut crochet lace, and I talk about this all the time, I kind of like do this cut tear thing, where I just kind of like lean the lace against the scissor blade and then just like drag it across there. It gives you this gorgeous, you know, in my opinion, this gorgeous kind of 
um, rough edge. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody's cup of tea. I'm saying for me, I really like that kind of, um, you know, frayed appearance. But yeah, I realise that's probably not everybody's kind of thing. Um, I did also find this little scrap of fabric on my desk. So I just quickly did this one as well because I thought, well, this is going to be a completely different look. So, you know, where I've said that I have previously always used Hessian, you can see that actually you could use anything really. I mean, the Hessian I just always think is a really lovely look, you know, for anything, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, any any fabric, as you can see, is going to get the desired effect really. So, oops. And then obviously these on the cheesecloth. So, and obviously the cheesecloth, you know, what I was saying about it's similar to the Hessian because, of course, it really frays around the edges, which, you know, I think it's rather nice. So just cutting out a few. So we've got a few different ones to, to work with and hopefully get sort of some different different looks going on with our paper clips. So, yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, I think the more frayed, the better, actually. So just do that around there and you know you can see I mean I'm not really paying any attention at all as to you know how square that is or straight that is it's it's not straight at all but actually again I think the less straight the better you know they actually look better from not being straight don't they so then what we're going to do is just layer up some little bits and pieces so again this is where I'm just going to take some lace so I'll just bring in a bit of lace here Oops. Cut some down. Okay. Now I'm going to use different pieces. So you know, hopefully, oh no, thought that might have looked good, but no. I wonder if this little turquoisey piece will look good with that. Just see. Oh yeah, it's going to look good. So yeah, let's just take a little bit of this. Okie dokie. And then. Yeah, that was the only piece with any blue, wasn't it? So we won't bother with the blue. Uh, I have got pink. So yeah, perhaps a little bit of pink lace. That might be quite nice. So yeah, let's just take that. Do I want to do some black? I wonder what the black would look like with that one. Well, let's, let's just give it a try. In fact, just take a couple of bits of black. Um, and then I need, you know, a sort of thicker base piece. So, uh, let me just see. What do I want to use as my thicker base piece? Probably. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just having a look around to see what did I do with my other crochet lace. I bought a whole bunch of crochet lace in with me for this video. And now... Of course, I can't see it anywhere, so, well, this isn't really what I was meaning. This is not, obviously, really crochet lace particularly, but could use this as a bit of a base. Yeah, should we go for that? Just because I don't want to be, like, looking around for ages for, for some other lace. So, all we're going to do, let's move our pieces out. So, let's start with the car, because I think that one's really, really nice. So I'm just going to, in fact, because this is um, thinner, I'm going to just take it and fold it over. Okay. And then I'm thinking, pop this down like that. Maybe put some lace over the top. Now I'm not even gluing this down or anything because obviously once I glue other pieces on it's hopefully going to kind of hold it together so oops, let's just pop that down there because all I'm really wanting to do is get some you know some bulk going on really so now do we like it oh dear well so much for what I was saying I might have to might have to put some glue down just to literally hold it together Otherwise, it might just keep on moving. So let's just pop a little bit of glue there. So just a tiny dash just to, you know, stop it coming apart. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe 
maybe have the lace like that. So I'm thinking actually I could probably do with another piece of lace running down the side of this. Let me just see. We've got... What has happened to my crochet lace? I'm going to have to go and dig it out. Hold on a second. I've dug out a bunch of lace now. Well, not dug it out. I dug it out to begin with. I, <laughs> I found it is what I mean. So yeah, just um, the chaos that is surrounding my desk unbelievable right okay so got this crochet lace now this one might be might be a bit too creased to be able to use this brilliantly but right let's move that pop this one down here i mean like i say all i'm really trying to do is kind of build up layers so let's pop that one down like that Okay, this probably could just do a bit of a bit of glue there to hold that together and a bit of glue there. Okay. And then, oops, gosh, got bits everywhere now. Uh, I did bring this in as well, but to be honest, probably don't really need. Yeah, I think it's better to be honest without. So just going to glue this down onto the lace pieces oh my goodness i mean how gorgeous does that look absolutely love 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 how that looks isn't it gorgeous so then i've got some paper clips which i've already put onto card so that can then just go there now i will probably then trim some of this paper clip down because it's possibly a little bit too big but let's just pop that on like that oops now i've dropped my hot glue gun there we go isn't that so scrumptious absolutely love it so and then just you know across here can just go go across like that so i mean to be honest i sort of preferred it a bit more irregular so maybe i'll just you know cut into that a little bit like that there we go isn't that just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's the first one let's do a couple more so i move that one out the way for a moment okay right so what are the what other lace have I brought along? So I've got this. Now this was an old top of mine. So I'm thinking. Oops. Take this. Okay, right. Let's put it in the right way. Right. So because this again, this is quite thin, much like that other fabric, I'm kind of thinking double it over Oops, sorry pick up my hot glue gun uh double it over because that's going to just you know strengthen it a little bit and then let's take some of this lace this is kind of like the um oh gosh what would we call it like you know the basic piece that will probably go on all of it because i think it will just look pretty on all of it and you know because it's all about the layers we're just trying to kind of like build up and get some other sort of interest going really so maybe a bit of this crochet lace so these are just like little scrappy bits but oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look so i'm just going to then glue this down which will hopefully glue many of those layers together and then i can just touch up you know where needs a little bit of extra glue like that okay and then here Get my paper clips, which again they're just ready to go on the card, just makes it easier. So maybe I will have this one as a you know top top paper clip instead. So I'll just trim that down slightly. Okay. right just need to try and watch where i'm putting this because uh i could end up with it very wonky 
Okay, hopefully that's kind of okay. Let's move that about a bit. And then obviously I've got a lot of fabric here, so just trim that around. I mean, it looks like I'm being very extravagant with that fabric, but you know, I mean, I just trimmed it up, you know, from the sleeve of that top. So, you know, it just kind of came off that, that way. So again, could, you know, maybe take it down a bit because perhaps it's a bit too, too big. There we go. Could always then trim this in so I've got, you know, layers kind of on top of layers, but not the same size or the same, you know, not cut in the same place. Because that looks all, all nice, doesn't it? You know, it's all extra, extra interest, extra kind of like things to, to look pretty. And then I've got some of these trims. Now I do have all of these trims. These are all um, for sale again on my shabby dabby doo -dah website. Oh gosh, I can't tell which is the right way and which is the wrong way. Oh, that's slightly. So isn't that gorgeous? So we just pop a bit of trim on there. <gasps> what a scrumptious paper clip. Oh my goodness. Isn't that lovely? Very, very different looking to the car, but so scrumptious. So, yep, that's those two, right? Okay, let's do the next one. So, yeah, let's do this clock now. I did, I think. Oh, I was going to say, I've got some red red lace here, but this is not going to be, not going to be right, is it? No, it's going to look a bit drab. Oh, not bad on there, or actually on there is rather nice. So, again, let's take this maybe use this as our base piece so again just oops apply a little dab of glue to just hold it together in the first place like that okay and then for this one I think what I'm going to do is just cut into here oops opening it out and then I can trim this up in a minute but we'll just start with it like this Right, not too worried about that because, of course, that's going to all be, you know, covered up, so it's all fine. Sorry, I'm just going to move my camera slightly, maybe zoom out slightly. Ooh, I zoomed in because I thought these are quite smallish items and I didn't want it to be, you know, not very visible what I was doing, but then felt like I was perhaps super close and perhaps couldn't see anyway. Right. That one, like that, and then yeah, I do like the crochet, so I think we'll have a bit of crochet lace on there. I have also got this, this crochet lace, which maybe might be quite nice. So let's just take this one. And like I say, I actually think sort of the more, more irregular this is, the better. To be honest, um, do we like that? I'm not so sure now. Hmm, not sure. Not sure, not sure. Let me just see whether... Well, maybe the lion will look better on there. So let's try the lion. Well, it's quite sunny outside today. It's freezing, but sunny. And I know I say this all the time, but yeah, I do feel my head. So if you are in the UK and you're thinking, what's she talking about? Not cold at all. It is freezing. It is freezing whilst I'm filming. But it may be that my video doesn't go up for a while, in which case it will seem like it's not freezing at all. So yeah, but whilst I'm actually filming, it is in fact freezing. All right. Oh, I can't see what the, the right way and the wrong way is, to be honest. Oh, well. Just pop that down there. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that look lovely? So, yeah, right. Now, I have to be a bit careful with this because the cheesecloth not that thick. Oops. So, just being a little bit kind of mindful of that. So, I just need to sort of 
really press that down because the cheesecloth's not that thick. So I don't want to have like obvious lumps. So by pressing it harder, you know, hopefully is eliminating, eliminating the lumps. There you go. And then I'm thinking maybe, maybe this. <clears throat> Like that, okie dokie. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? And then, oops, that one's a bit tiny. That piece of cardboard was a bit tiny, wasn't it? Okay. I need to buy some more of those large paper clips. At the moment, I've only got the small ones, which a bit too small aren't they i'm so sorry i don't know what's going on with my camera every time i look and i can glance into it it doesn't look a very good angle so i just really do apologize for that i don't know whether my camera's slipping just move it up slightly because sometimes it does kind of slip you know whilst i'm filming the camera's then gradually slipping down Not ideal, I realise, but yeah. Okay. So, yep, that one there. And then, you know, again, can always trim around this a bit if it's a little bit too, you know, too big. Like that. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? They are so nice, aren't they? And I just think there's something a little bit different. They're a little bit different um, way to use your stamps. And yeah, just something a little bit different sort of, um, you know, the finished result. So let's put that one down like that. And just take some of this here. Right, this is probably way too big. I mean, to be honest, I could probably do two out of this one. So let's do that. Probably even do four if I'm truthful, but not go too crazy. So yeah, let's do two. So we do that one like that. And I've just got some pink lace here. So we could even include a bit of pink. Right, I tried to do the cut tear, but this lace was not having any of that, so. Oh, my scissors are really blunt. I did hear, um, you know, or I've heard, you know, that you should really keep fabric scissors and paper cutting scissors separate because obviously, you know, the paper cutting scissors don't like cutting fabric. And that does make sense, doesn't it? But yeah, unfortunately, I'm not that good, and I do not do not do that. Okay, right. I'm just going to cut this because that was just where I folded that over at the edge. So we just cut that open. So it just gives us that sort of frayed, oops, frayed edge there. Let's bring in our paper clip. Oh my goodness! Sorry. Every time that I put the hot glue that gun there, it slips back off because I'm trying not to get it onto the, you know, the pile of fabric that I've got there. So hang on a second. Just get the um, hot glue gun back. Hang on. Okay, right. Okay, we'll try and actually put it a bit better this time. But Oh dear, I nearly glued that on. Onto the uh, front side of the... Off the paper clip, right? I don't know what's going on with this. I think it's caught up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what was going on. It was actually caught up, so there wasn't really enough cable there, right? Okay, and then just again snip this down on the edge, like that. Okie dokie, and then have got this trim. Obviously, it's not really the right color red. I mean, it's not bad, but. Yeah, probably not brilliant if I'm truthful. Got these oops, little tiny pearly thingy my bobs. They're perhaps nicer. 
So yeah, let's keep it delicate. So one of those like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that one gorgeous? Really, really pretty. So yeah, okay. Let's do this one, right. Perhaps I will use some of this pink as the actual background piece for this one. Oh, oh, actually, we had said we were going to do another tiny one, didn't we? So let's do a tiny one first. Right, let's do that. So, I mean, these are just scraps now that I'm just using for this. So, yeah, let's put some scraps down. Uh, I mean, there's nothing better than being able to just use totally scraps, is there? You know, that feels really good. Okay. Like that. Okay, and then just again, snip that down on the, on the edge. And just cut this open here, like that. Okay, now, do we think that this would benefit from something else or maybe like some pink or something? Because we have got that little bit of pink on there. Maybe, oh my goodness, doesn't that look pretty? So yeah, let's just glue that down. Oh, that looks lovely. It's a shame I've blobbed the hot glue to, you know, everywhere okay. never mind let me put my glasses on okay well it looks okay I mean to be honest I could probably trim that up a little bit and you know improve it but you know it might not really show up too much anyway so let's just take some of this okie dokie yeah, a little bit of pearly trim. So I will just quickly trim off where, where I did that with the hot glue. Okay, so that one looks very cute, doesn't it? And yeah, let's just bring in my pre-threaded paper clip. Is that what you call it? Pre-threaded? Oh, I don't know. use the same scissors again onto the fabric and then onto the paper and then back to the fabric even as I just said it I'm still doing it so yeah not great no hope obviously no hope okay so that one's very cute isn't it okay oops okay and then yeah let's do this one right I'd said about using this didn't I so take a little bit of this now would we have it oh yeah oh my goodness doesn't that look gorgeous let's make this one like an unashamedly girly one shall we so yeah let's put that there and then no don't want the red got the crochet yeah I don't know whether I want the crochet on this because it maybe is going to look quite you know quite dark colour and maybe we'd be better off leaving this you know very pink I don't know mm. let's just take a bit of this one <clears throat> okay just try it I mean they're quite nice to be honest the more layers the better aren't they so Here. No, not loving that. I think what I would prefer now is probably another little bit of this pink. So just kind of take a little bit of this now and have this kind of layered up somewhere onto here as well. Yeah. I mean, I realise that's quite big, so I might cut this down in a minute, but let's glue it all together and then see how it's looking. So, 
Let's uh, right. Pop that down. Again, it's on the cheesecloth, so again, I'm just going to sort of press it a bit extra, a bit of extra time. And then just going to go to some of the layers which maybe haven't grabbed because I did have a lot of layers there. So let's just pop that down like that. Okay. And then here, oops, let's cut that thread off first. Okay, bit of glue here, okie dokie, and then just do a sort of opening up of the lace and then can just, you know, again, trying to keep it quite scrappy, not have straight edges at all. I think they look better, you know, without the straight edges, I don't know about you guys but so sorry these scissors are driving me potty now I've got some other ones here let's try these ah look should have done that straight away shouldn't i yeah okay oh my goodness doesn't that look gorgeous so again just going to give that a helping hand there to glue those layers at the back Okay, right, let's quickly throw all these scrappy bits in the bin. Now, what do we want to have on here? Let's put the paper clip on first, just because actually then it's easier before you've got any bumpy, bumpy elements on the front. So, yep, let's have that as a sideways paper clip. I always do them the same side, so let's mix this up and do this one this way around. Okay, like that. I think it's something to do with being right-handed. They all end up the same, you know, the same direction, but anyway. There we go. And then what should we put on here? Uh, do we want some... I mean, that's again what we said. No, not the right colour, didn't we? What it would look like with this colour. It doesn't look too bad, actually, but I thought it was going to look worse than that. But, or we could have some pearly trim. I wonder if we could have some pearly trim and a little one of these little daisy bud things. Daisy buds? I don't know why I called it that. Oh, let's do that. Okay. So this one's very girly. Very girly, very pretty. Like that. And then where do we want the daisy going? Should we have it up there? Okay. Like that. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I mean, that's probably all that we'll get through um, to do together because I feel like I have probably been filming for quite a while, though I've lost track now because I've stopped the camera several times. But um, that's the ones that we have actually completed. Plus, we've got loads of, obviously, the stamped images ready for stitching onto some backing fabric. And I've got, obviously, some that I've already, you know, stitched around. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, I think they're very, very, very pretty. And just something a little bit different to do with your stamps. Just a little bit of a different take on the altered paper clips. And yeah, let me know what you think. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have fun if you make some. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much then. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.